New at 6, you'll hear the sound of bells for a few more days still, but it's a sound one Salvation Army bell ringer isn't hearing. That's got him frustrated. Newswatch 12's Andriana Shepard introduces us to that bell ringer who's determined to keep the Christmas spirit going despite a recent theft. Bob Finch tells me while his personal iPod was stolen while he was bell ringing here, he won't let that stop him from spreading Christmas cheer. Frosty, the snowman is trying to look more happier today. Bob Finch is now raising money for the Salvation Army's kettle campaign without a song in his ear. Right now, bell ringing, basically I just have to sing my own voice and either the music in my head and just try to entertain people as best as possible without an iPod. In the six years he's been a bell ringer, he's never dealt with something like this. Finch was bell ringing outside of this Albertsons yesterday on West Main Street. He put his iPod touch in his jacket and set it down while he went to the bathroom. When he came back, his jacket wasn't where he left it. I picked, the, picked up the jacket and I instantly put my hand into the pockets, no iPod. I'm freaking out. I immediately went to the manager of the Albertsons and said, look, I had my iPod stolen. The grocery store allowed him to look at surveillance footage and snap a few photos of the potential suspect. He tells me he's financially strapped and just can't afford another $300 iPod. But a stranger is letting him borrow one in the meantime. For somebody to give me an iPod to use because mine got stolen. I mean, that was, that was beyond, you know, generous. For now, he's determined to get his own back and continue to be the dancing and singing bell ringer he's known to be. Finch asks if you do have any information that you give Medford Police a call. You can find that number and Finch's case number on our website, kdrv.com. In Medford, Andriana Shepard, Newswatch 12.